Hey everybody, this is the Gal Square slider, Gal Studios. It is uh, unique in that the back comes off and reveals a whole series of countersunk holes, large and small, for two different size magnets. And you can uh, change the configuration into anything you'd like. Right now I have it set up with three, three, and three. Of course, the, the middle magnet is always in the middle. It's not removable. But then there are the smaller magnets. I haven't done much with those yet. Uh, when I get home, we'll d get this underneath the lights and take it apart and give you a closer look. But uh, I can say that I'm really, really happy with it. Um, it's very smooth. Mine's stainless, if I didn't say that already. I don't feel like it's ever going to start binding up on me. Very crisp. It's aesthetically pleasing. Very pretty. Smooth. It is a little on the slippery side, I'll, I'll say that. Uh, I do wish it was a, maybe sandblasted or had a bit more of a, a grippy texture to it. But other than that, uh, very nice. Oh, it, it does pinch you every once in a while, too. The large magnets are fairly strong and the small magnets are fairly weak. Uh, but again, we'll get into that in a little bit more detail when I get home. And uh, that's about all I can say. You know, one of the things about it is the plates come off by pushing a little pin through that hole there. They're both the same. And uh, that's it. I like it. I recommend it. Now we'll move on to a disassembly and examination. Hey, we're back inside now. We can have a little bit of a closer look at this. I went ahead and changed the magnet orientation around a little bit just to show you what else is possible. Previously I had it three, three, and three. And as I said before, the middle magnet has to always be there. That's glued in. Um, so with this orientation, I now have it as uh, one here, one here, one here, and one here. I've removed the four corner ones. So you still have some back and forth action, but you also have this nice little bit of rotation. And I just discovered that, and I really like it. And I'm sure there's other variations that you can come up with on your own. But uh, I wanted an excuse to take it apart and put the other magnets in, so I went ahead and changed them. So to go ahead and uh, change the magnets, see there's a hole in both of these. And all you need is a pin, anything that will fit in there. Give it a little push. And then lift it off. There's a magnet in the middle and a magnet in the middle. Like I said, those are permanent. All these other countersunk holes are open for you to place the magnets wherever you like. Um, here's the difference in size of magnets. I believe these are five by twos. These are four or three by twos. I think these are three by twos. Uh, we're not going to mess with the small ones. We'll go ahead and put the uh, corner magnets back in place. Now, the way you want to make sure that it's oriented properly, polar the polarization of the magnets, is to find out what the middle one is. Okay, it's opposing that way, now it's attracting. So if I keep these in that orientation and drop them down into the holes, then everything will be in the correct orientation. Whoops. Easier said than done. And I'm trying not to disturb the four magnets that I already have installed. If I didn't, I don't think I said it, I might have tried, I said it on an earlier take of this. Be very careful because, there, I forgot to do that one. Let's see if we can get it in. Oh, there, I popped one out. Now, again, you want to be very careful you don't bump this right now or do anything fancy. In fact, I could have used this in aiding putting these on. I should have done that. There, I fucked it up. Well, we're lucky. I didn't, I didn't break any. What my warning was going to be is don't let something like that happen because when I first got this and opened it up, uh, all the magnets slapped together and one of them fractured. These are not solid metal. This is powdered neodymium compacted into a pill, just like a pill you take from the doctor and then baked in an oven and then coated in a nickel, nickel plating. So they're very fragile. Um, like I said, I should have done this from the first part. Uh, I should have used the base to help aid in putting the other magnets in, just like we would with our other, with our other, our other uh, sliders. So now I got the orientation correct. 
Now I can put these in and now they're not as likely to, these aren't as likely to pop out because they're being attracted from the back piece. So it's gonna make this whole process a lot easier and safer. Whoops. Ah. Uh, and there, that's it. Now, we'll do the other side. Okay, so now we're back on uh, three by three configuration. And it's just like it was earlier in the video when I was outside. Um, that's it. I highly recommend it. I do wish that the sides perhaps were sandblasted, had a little bit more of a grip to it. It is slippery when you're outside on a cool day like today and your fingers are dry. Inside it's not so bad. It does have a little bit of a texture. It is it does have a sandblasted or a, a, a um, tumbled finish, but it's still a little smooth for my liking. Other than that, I recommend it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to help you out if I can. Thanks.